the female Dracula. The female Dracula. Hello guys and welcome back to this channel and today we are going to talk about Hotspot Battery, also known as the female Dracula. Okay. So we all remember the story of Vlad Thipis the Third and his kingdom in Valachia um, and how he liked Vlad all over the place. Um, and how he liked to impale his enemies um, outside of his castle as well as within the castle outside, right? And how he was such a murderous um, king or a prince, I should say, more so. Um, and now, today, we are going to talk about um, his uh, female countryside, a woman that not everybody um, knows about. Hatsbet Bathory. We are in Hungary. Uh, we actually end up in Hungary because Hatsbet Bathory um, belonged to this family and they kind of slightly moved around. So she was born more in Slovakia. Um, her uh, parents uh, lived in Slovakia at least for a little bit. And then she got married. I'm jumping straight into the, the matter. She got married to um, a guy, uh, Ferenc, and they moved to Hungary. Now, the only thing that we do now oh, before the marriage is basically that she suffered from epilepsy or what is believed to be epilepsy. So we don't know anything major. It's amazing that she was able to deliver babies uh, um, even though she had epilepsy because that might be complicated, it might have been complicated for the time, the time being the 16th century. But besides that, we don't know much else about her or her childhood. So what happens is um, she got married to this guy. Now, of course, the marriage is arranged and it's just a matter of um, basically, you know, uh, giving her a place in society because she becomes a countess by marrying this guy. Now. The whole point of this is that the first thing that we do now starts exactly just right before the marriage. Um, we are aware that there's a servant and um, Hertzbert the Bathory and the servant had allegedly a relationship, a relationship from which a baby was born. Um, we do not have any news about what happened to the baby. Probably it was left for adoption. We do know that Ferenc uh, knows this. Um, in the moment he understands what's going on with his future wife, doesn't want to um, give up on the idea of getting married, having his own castle, um, and therefore the marriage and the preparation for the wedding goes on, moves forward, but we do know that the servant um, is first castrated and uh, subsequently killed. Um, put to death while well, she would deliver this baby um, in the secrecy of the palace. So that is the first thing that we know about her. We do know also that uh, uh, Ferenc and Hertzbert had four children, but this is pretty much what we know about her, um, except that there's a major event. The major event is uh, happening on, on December the 30th in uh, 1610, and it is when Matthews II, King of Hungary, uh, who basically just wants the castles, the lands, decides uh, to enter the castle in which um, Elspeth Bathory and um, her collaborators reside. The scene is described as following. So what we know is that the troops um, get into the castle and they will find a woman, a servant allegedly, um, agonizing on the floor. Uh, and they will find something like 12 more in the basement, chained up, um, allegedly about to be murdered. Now, when 
I was birthed by three, got married, had four children with that, right? Anna, Katrina, Ursula, and Paul. And uh, shortly afterwards, Ferenc died um, in, um, in a battle. So what happens is that uh, Elizabeth finds herself all alone to govern um, the lands um, inherited, partly her lands, but partly inherited through the marriage. And what we also know is that everybody thought oh, this is going to be easy. We are going to strip her of her lands, of her possessions, because she's a woman. Yes, she's a noble woman, so you cannot really do dirty a countess like that, but you can find um, uh, ruses, um, you could find strategies to um, make her concede at least uh, a huge part of her possession. What Bathory does is uh, first she allies with Gabor the first. Now Gabor the first is um, her nephew and that alliance yields some results, not quite the results that, that we would expect because um, Gabo the first gets sent to the different wars and the different battles, right? And the idea is to separate the two so that the alliance cannot be that strong and um, eventually the possessions belonging to Bathory would fall in, into Matthias the second's hands. And so that is the attempt. And it's probable that for these reasons um, the rumors of Earthbeth Bathory practicing witchcraft starts to be spread around. Um, she is described as a bloody countess um, and uh, the thing described when Matthias II or more so his troops entered the castle where she was residing is that um, um, that fit the context in which, um, according to the rumors of the time, Hesbeth Bathory would kill, in several different ways I should say also, would kill um, young ladies. Uh, most of all, the purpose of the killing was to get their blood. Okay. The idea at the time was that the blood of young virgins or young uh, ladies um, could be used for a bath. Yes, you have understood that correctly. Um, she would bathe herself in blood so that she would still stay young and fresh. I have not personally tried that, so I am not kind of aware of what would be the consequences of bathing yourself in blood and um, I do not even dare to imagine how that would smell but um, yeah so the point was that she would kill them now she would do, do the most bizarre and kind of like outrageous things like uh, for instance punishing them to death or leaving them outside for the winter until they would be dead and then you know once dead um, you know she would extract the blood which is interesting and, and of course to do that um, she had to be um, having collaborators and so when they found this woman and 12 um, in the basement all the theory uh, of Hudspeth Bathory being this uh, bloody killer, um, killing young ladies, um, started to fit the whole um, context and, of course, also uh, King Matthew's um, uh, interest. And so, um, young women would be tortured, whipped, and tortured, and she would bathe in their blood. And allegedly, um, according to some sources, she killed more than 36, more than 80 uh, young women, according to other sources. And then there's an outrageous number out there that is more than 640. Now, that's a little excessive. You would need like a, a real sort of machine behind you to kill more than 600 people uh, you by yourself it's a it's a, it's a quite the endeavor I would say but anyway uh, that is what the sources out there um, say and we actually don't know how much that is inflated by 
uh, just the rumors of the time, just by the interest behind getting uh, her castle and how much of this is actually true. What we know is that the collaborators were all uh, sentenced to death, um, accused of witchcraft. She was a countess, so um, she refused to undergo trial. Now, um, as a countess, she could do that. Uh, that didn't, um, however, save her life, but she was sentenced to um, life um, in jail, or what would look like jail. She was confined to a room with no ventilation, and she would die um, very quickly because we do know that uh, she um, um, actually uh, gave her last will in July uh, 1641. Um, so we're talking about just a few months basically after um, uh, King um, Mathis II entered the palace. Um, so just really the time of the trial. And so in July 1641 um, she gave her last will and then she died a few um, weeks afterwards. And that, guys, is the story of Hotsbeth Bathory, um, the female Dracula. Now, with that being said, I want to leave the comment to you, so let us know what you think, if you knew her, and if you didn't, what do you believe? Do you believe that that's actually like inflated by uh, the interest behind uh, her lands, her possessions, um, her castles, um, and stuff like this, or do you think that there's a grain of truth in these sources? Let us know, we are here, and if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. I'll see you next time. Bye!